Good morning. Hello, everyone. It's snowing. We heard there was going to be snow on Good Friday, and uh, we're like, no, you know, because it's supposed to be 62 on Easter Sunday or something. But and since, it's snowing out. Yeah, since we're in uh, I'm in shorts. Pause, we can just be in shorts all day. <laughs> yeah, I'm in the house. Yes. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm not going to go out and shovel He's any gonna snow. He's going to run around in his bathing suit later. <laughs> not true. Because I can find the acupuncture points and the meridians I'm going to talk about right now. That's right. That's right. So part of part of the reason we're doing this yesterday and today is we get asked a lot about what acupuncture points are, what are meridians, mm -hmm. and some of it I know is a little dry and boring, like rather than, oh, these are the great things you could do for sleep, or these are the great things you can do for emotional balancing. This is the foundational aspect, so we just wanted to give you a little platform to uh, stand on with regarding acupuncture. We talked about yesterday, uh, the, more like the, or, what they call, or, I don't like the word oriental, it's well, so weird, oriental medical theory. Um, yeah, no, I. Yeah, so uh, part of it is, so that's the foundation we talked about yesterday. So today we're gonna talk about meridians. They have, there are uh, 12 main meridians uh, in the body, they are bilateral except for two. One goes down the middle of the uh, front. It's called the Ren or conception vessel. And the one goes down the center of the back, right down the spine, up over the head, up from the spine, up over the head, which is called the Du channel or the governing vessel. And then all the other organ uh, meridians, lung, large intestine, stomach, spleen, etc. Each one of those meridians has a certain amount of points on them. And each one of those points has a specific anatomical fixed location. It's not willy-nilly. There's very specifically based on Western anatomical landmarks. So like we talked about one of the ones for sleep and stress was right between the eyebrows. That has yin tang. It has a very specific location. Um, the first or second day we did this, we talked about points that are really good for the immune system and for cough. Those have very specific locations. Predominantly what we see come across our clinic are pain uh, that's what usually gets people into some type of pain issue. But acupuncture and acupuncture points on those meridians that we just referenced are we treat uh, so many different things. I mean, we treat emotional balancing, we treat fertility work, we not just pain. I, tre I treat um, uh, pediatrics. Now, kids aren't normally coming in for some type of, <clears throat> excuse me, back pain like some of our adult patients were. So there are many things and many avenues we can choose. Now, of these 361 points on these meridians we just mentioned, excuse me, <coughs> um, they have a specific anatomical locations, I said, and they have multiple functions. I would say your typical acupuncturist, I'm not speaking for the community, I'm just saying generally, we choose somewhere between, we access 60 to 80 points of those 361 points. And there's actually 40 extra points, so there's 401 points. Now, there's, now we're seeing different applications from people that started doing stuff in the 50s, 60s, 70s, and there's a whole wave of people coming out of acupuncture schools now that are doing, applying these points or uh, meridians differently than what Laura and I learned, which is great. I'm all for it, don't get me wrong. Um, so those meridians, as I said, have to do with the different organ systems. They have specific anatomical locations, and each one of those meridians has different amount of points on them. Like the bladder meridian has 67 points and the um, heart meridian has nine. So they uh, follow the circulatory and neurological lines of the body. And although they're not actually physical, there's, they're non-physical, like you would not, they're invisible. You would not open them up the body and see a meridian. I, I read it when I, was, when I was a student, which is a long time ago, I heard uh, the story there was a Canadian anatomist that uh, was d dissecting a cadaver and said, I don't see any chi. I don't see, <laughs> I don't see the acupuncture points. So and I, I mean, this guy was a smart person. He was just like looking for that, going, yeah. why isn't yeah. it there? Um, and it's not like, uh, and when Laura says invisible, we access it with the needle. Remember we talked about acupressure on these meridians and points, we're pressing on them acupuncture we're piercing it so it goes deeper of course if you're piercing it with a needle we use surgically sterilized disposal single use only needles during those treatments i always want to say that as a disclaimer because some people uh, who've never had acupuncture think oh do you use hypodermic needles or something we don't so those points um that we talked about those meridians that we talked about um 
is what we access when we're designing a treatment for somebody. Somebody may come in for knee pain, uh, which happens all the time, and this time of year they'll go, hey, do you do something for allergies? And so we'll include that in the treatment as well. So we, uh, that's why I say we have a variety of different points we can choose from and access and treat the whole body, not just the part. The word holistic means treating the whole person, not just the part. And that's the foundation of acupuncture. And so when we, and I always tell patients too, I'll go, I want you to know that if I'm treating your sinuses, these points on these meridians I just mentioned, it's not gonna distract from treating your knee. It treats the whole person. Now some people come in on these points and say, I just want you to treat my knee. Then we just treat their knee. Um, I, that's not my way of st styling my treatments normally, but that, that happens sometimes. So we have so many choices to help somebody. 361 is a large number. And as I said a moment ago, when we're treating a, a somebody, we usually access about 60 to 80 points. I, when I was a student for my final exam, I had to needle all 361 points on my, on my co-student as he did to me. So um, the, often when we needle one of those points on this meridian, you'll get almost like a grab, the Chinese call it fishing. It's almost like a, a, something grabs around the area where we needled. And they call that the arrival of chi. And people go, oh, you just hit a nerve. Not normally, ner nerves run fairly deep in the body. There are superficial nerves, but most of them run pretty deep. You'd have to dig pretty hard and deep to, to hit a nerve. But there's that sensation <clears throat> of the arrival of chi that uh, we're gonna talk about in a moment that happens when we needle somebody, that kind of nervy feeling. So. Uh, we're going to talk now about chi. So that's just a foundational aspect about meridians, the amount of points on the meridians, specific anatomical locations, multiple functions. Um, I think it's also important for us to explain this, the points and the meridians, because we're actually recommending certain acupressure points for you guys to be doing on yourselves and your loved ones, your friends. So it's great for you to understand the foundation so you can explain it to them. Right. And for us... Which I, we do a lot of. Yeah. We like doing that. One of my primary goals is to educate as many people as possible about Chinese medicine. So I figure if we pay forward and help people with it, maybe you guys will pay forward to your friends too. True. And I, when I was, when I think of meridians, I think of they're almost like our power lines going through our body that's carrying our chi or our energy, and then the different points along it are. I look at it as like almost like little transformers that can. Um, lead the energy from one area to another. So it's just like a, a visual in kind of a more Western terms. And uh, Rick had mentioned several times about the nerves and um, people will frequently ask us in the treatment rooms, oh, is this based on the nervous system? Is this based on All the, the circulatory system? And which I is fine, which is great. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's such a good question and it totally makes sense. But just to be clear that um, this was around a long time before any of that was really discovered and we, people weren't really cutting open bodies and figuring out where the nervous system, nervous system was. It was against or, the law to dissect yeah, bodies in China actually. Yeah. So yeah. these acupuncture meridians were actually discovered way before that. And the initially, the initial, uh, from what I'm, my research shows me over the years, there was initially about 120 points total. And so they, uh, as time went on, they found that by tracking that same pathway or meridian that wasn't specific an acupuncture point at the time, three, 2,000 years ago, they found, oh, an additional point on that same meridian that affects the same tissue. So they've developed it to the point of what we have, as we said, 361 main points on meridians and 40 extra points. They're called outside of meridians. So um, as you can see, we have a lot of choices. <clears throat> so we want to talk about cheat? Yes. Chi is a functional aspect, it's a C-H-I or Q-I, as we talked about on our acupressure lecture. K-I is the Japanese way of saying Qi. And uh, we're, doing, we're doing canine acupuncture apparently today, which <laughs> I didn't know about. She has been squirming around at Rick's feet the whole time. Yeah. I'm like, what is going on down yeah. there on her back? <laughs> she was like, what was that book? Um, metamorphosis. She was like the cockroach yeah. on her back. Yeah, on her back. <laughs> what is going right. on? <clears throat> now I'm really supposed to stay on point and focus on my lecture here, uh, <laughs> on my subject matter. Okay. So chi um, is the functional aspect of rules of like respiration, digestion, things like that. You hear it used a lot, the word chi, C-H-I-Q-I, as I said. Um, and that it's not pulling feeling we've, uh, 
we feel when an acupuncture needle pierce has been that arrival of chi. A chi can be uh, deficient or rebellious. Rebellious chi would be <clears throat> coughing. Let's use coughing. The natural when we inhale, air goes down. Rebellious chi is your cough out. Digestive chi is vomiting when it's supposed to go down. So chi has a, and it's traditionally not often in excess, but it's often deficient or rebellious. So chi is so important in that we want to try to balance the chi. Remember the foundation of acupuncture is create balance. So did you want to say anything else? Okay. No, just basically I think in the terms of using it with the acupressure that what is going on is um, chi is a way to access, or sorry, the acupuncture is points are a way to access your chi and to move it. So if you're feeling like it's stuck in an area and there's an imbalance, we'll use those points to try to move the chi and balance it out in the body. And um, those points are really the conduits. They're, they're what's, what keeps the energy moving, so, right? I think that's it. Yeah. Right. I have one little reading and one book to recommend here. Oh my gosh. Here, dog, here, dog, Please. go down. Yeah. <laughs> so the book is Between Heaven and Earth. And this is like, you're gonna say this backwards again. This is some of the basics of Chinese medicine. It's great for practitioners to read, but it's also great for the lay person. And it's got a lot of beautiful poetic um, references to Chinese medicine, as well as a lot of practical uses. Acupressure, different ailments that you can treat, that type of thing at home. Right. So um, here's what they said about acupuncture points. Acupuncture points are located in small depressions in the skin called men or gates. Access can be gained to the intern internal circulation of qi and blood through acupuncture points. In ancient times, when Chinese cities were fortified by walls, gates were open to receive sustenance and closed to keep harm away. Acupuncture points are gateways, subtle portals of the body that are open and closed to adjust its dynamic. I thought that was nice. That is nice. All right, between heaven and earth, Harriet Beanfield and Ephraim. Horn gold. Highly recommend. So the, the previews of coming attractions are we are uh, <clears throat> going to show some acupressure points over the next week or so. We're also going to get in the kitchen with a cooking queen. So we're going to uh, get in the kitchen and show some nutritional stuff we can do as well. So have yeah. a good if you're in Rochester. <laughs> yes, go sledding. Go sledding. Yes. Otherwise, uh, enjoy the rest of your day. Good Friday, everyone. And uh, we just had Passover, so it's a pretty spiritual time of the year for yes, people right now. Yes, so yes, yes. Um, have a good day, have a good weekend, and um, we'll see you the next time. Thank you. Bye. Bye.